being honored tonight at the Latino de Oye Award Show. What does that mean to you? I think it's pretty cool. I mean, my whole life grew up with Argentinian parents. My dad went to British school, so we all kind of spoke kind of medium English. My mom still has her accent, Carlos no me digas. So, you know, many years later, here I'm in Los Angeles to be honored as sort of a Latino, but growing up American. I actually won, Carlos Jaime Alasraque, I won the All-American Boy Award at my high school <laughs> at our senior banquet. So now it's kind of neat to kind of identify with my Latino side and be a part of a show that's multicultural. We obviously have Yvette Nicole Brown and Chris Parnell. We have myself. We have Amy, who's Dominican. So it's, it's kind of cool to identify and be, uh, be rewarded or awarded by a community that I really wasn't as much a part of as a kid, yeah. but now as an adult could say, yeah, my parents are from Argentina. I do have that Latin background, so why not embrace it? You're coming back home to your roots. Yes. So you started as a stand-up comic. Yep. A lot of stand-up comics have some kind of funny stories as to how they got involved into comedy. You know, maybe a friend dared them to get up on stage yeah. or something. What? How did you realize that that was your calling? I think a professor in college said, hey, you know, you're really not that good at studies, but you got some voices. It was like back then I was doing Ronald Reagan, where there you go again. He's like, maybe you should try comedy. And then I think the kicker was I tried mime. Yeah. And I was like doing mime in like the student union and the guys were like, I'm trying to study. And I'm like, okay, no more of this no talk. And, uh, stuff. I'm going to do stand-up comedy. You were a born entertainer. Yeah. Now, you've also Believe got... Me. <laughs> Believe me. Believe me. I was a born entertainer. Believe me. Oh, there you go. you got to grab show business, you, but I'm not going to go there. You should go do the debate tonight for I'm going to do place. the debate. I'm tweeting right now. I'm very, very... Listen, you, I heard what you said. I heard what you said. I got eyes on you, Mr. Trump, and you were a punk. You're a no-good you know what you should be doing? You should learn respect for women by watching Elena of Avalor. You see what I did there? I love it. I turned it into a You know what? I think it was you, that was good. It was risky because this is Disney, but I kept it clean. I would bet that you probably know more world leaders than he does. I do know I'm more put world leaders. I know Bernie Sanders. And the top 1% of people should be watching Elena of Avalor and not the debate. Take your kids and your children. Make sure you're watching Elena of Avalor. And that's it. And that's all. That's amazing. Yes. Now, last thing, we know you for all of your voiceover, you know, happy feeds, yeah. all these iconic childhood films that we love and, and cherish. Do you have a favorite character? I have a favorite character, and he's coming back again. We're doing a 44-minute movie for Nickelodeon, and it's my first. Your first is always your favorite, and it's Rocco from Rocco's Mother oh Love. Oh, my gosh. I was such a fan. Thank you. And the reason it's still kind of my favorite is because I've been able to do a lot of Latino voices, the Taco Bell Chihuahua, yes. now Elena Vavalor, and Happy Feet, and El Chupacabra for Planes. And so while I was getting a lot of Latino work, which I'm very happy with, uh, I was happy to start with a sort of Australian wallaby to say that somebody with my ethnic background could be anybody, you know, and that's yeah. that's the beauty of voiceover. Do you ever do prank calls on people and just I <laughs> call people up and do all these crazy voices? I never had the guts, but yo, what's up, Sarah and Paul? We're cooking, we're cooking tonight. Whoa, yo, what? Come yeah, on over, bitch. Cook. Yeah, Mr. White. She said it. I gotta make. It's Disney. I gotta stay clean. Awesome. Thank you so much, right. and have a wonderful evening.